Joining me now to respond to this is Bob McCullough, who you just heard mentioned. He's a St. Louis County prosecuting attorney, and I would imagine that he has uh, a response to a very uh, heated Jason Pollack. Good evening, sir. Good to have you here. What do you think? Well, good evening. I'm happy to be here. Well, he has his facts wrong, not shockingly. There was no bullet in the ground anywhere near Michael Brown. There are three separate medical examiners, including one hired by the Brown family, the Department of Defense and the St. Louis County Medical Examiner all came to the same conclusion. He's making up facts as he goes along to to push his his film. You know, he's a an amateur filmmaker and and he's just making things up to do that. You Is look it at true the that entire, no police officer yeah, has initial, ever been prosecuted for shooting uh, an, an armed person in in Ferguson, Missouri. In Ferguson, yes, and in St. Louis County, I think is what you're asking with that. Over the years, there have been several shootings. All have been investigated, and none of them were uh, were indicted. Correct. So he's claiming uh, that the he's claiming that there were that there were underhanded tactics, that things were hidden, that that the, that the story and the investigation that was done by 40 FBI agents, um, mm -hmm. overseen by the Department of Justice right. and the grand jury, that they all were right. in cahoots with you to make sure that that Darren Wilson was never indicted. Uh, you know, I mean, that's just, it, it, listen to what you just said and tell me how silly that is. I, and it really is silly that somehow I have this control over the United States Department of Justice, the Attorney General of the United States, the FBI. Um, it, it, it's just nonsense. And this guy's trying to push his movie, which is made up, makes up the facts on it. You saw the entire uh, the entire uh, surveillance video from all four angles, unedited. And he's trying to strike a deal with him. Is there any fails, legal they, relevance they to what the, uh, happened in the? Excuse me for interrupting. No. For, to what happened in the convenience store? No, no, I mean, no. it seems to me that the that the whole question no. begins in the street when these two, Darren Wilson and Michael Brown, confront each other. Correct? Well, it, it it begins there, but it relates back to the incident at the store at about noon on that day because that plays into into this, and and that became relevant to what went on in the street. What happened at 11 o'clock, or I'm sorry, 1 o'clock that morning was both logically and legally irrelevant and immaterial, which is why it was never presented to the grand jury. Um, that's not something I'd ever be able to use in a trial had there been any kind of an indictment coming out of this. So it's not going to be presented to the grand jury. It is documented. This isn't new information. It's documented in the police report, right. the conversation the police had with the employees of the store. Um, the fact that we issued a search warrant so they could get the surveillance video, that they looked at the surveillance video, examined it, documented that, described what's on that video in the police report, all of which was released uh, November 24, 2014. It's all been sitting there, open to the world, open to anybody who wants to look at it, including this fella. Mm -hmm. All right, Bob McCullough, thank you very much. Good to have you here tonight, sir. Oh, my pleasure. Anytime.